God asserts today to disregard the accusers. Exercise caution when all individuals commend you, take the light when you are misrepresented. The esteem of men does not signify prosperity in my kingdom. Men bestow esteem onto people who do not contest their assumptions or preferences. Allow me to handle them. Continue pursuing the kingdom. Do not allow yourself to be distracted by those who regard you with disdain. Engage actively in the task. Engage in the task to which I have summoned you. Others may believe they understand my thoughts, although they have neglected to view you through the prism of my perspective on your existence. Individuals who take no action will never face criticism. If correction is necessary, I will provide it through compassionate, mature guidance that will emanate from me. Convey all other adversaries and skeptics to me. Submit their comments, observations, and allegations to me, and rest assured that I will address and resolve them appropriately. Do not heed your critics. Do not presume that the lack of enthusiasm from others regarding your possibilities indicates that you are not following the road I have designated for you. Maintain your willingness. Remain receptive and maintain a posture of humility. Cease all responses and refrain from self-defense. Succumbing to the urge to defend yourself diverts you from the purpose to which I have summoned you. Resist distractions and maintain a state of readiness and consistency. Prioritize your compliance above all else. When you are disoriented, revert to the last statement I communicated to you. I will meet you there to provide clarity and guidance regarding the assignment. Maintain the flexibility of your heart. Continue to focus on me rather than on humanity. After exhausting all your knowledge and efforts, await patiently and with anticipation for the opportunity one will present, and for your endeavors to yield fruitful results. I have acknowledged your plea. I have sent support, and this is the moment of breakthrough. Advance your foot. The Father advises that you should be the first to undertake the duty. Do not rely on others to fulfill your calling. As you initiate the effort, my assistance will precede the blessings I am bestowing upon your life. God proclaims today, be fortified. Embrace my strength and resist the enemy's attempts to entice you with weakness or notions of failure. You are neither relinquishing nor conceding. I am promoting you. This is your celebratory moment. The competition has already been secured. Fortify your spirit and physique. I am enhancing your vitality and strength during this season. You shall run and not become fatigued. You will achieve the productivity of 10 individuals and possess the vigor and resilience to complete your journey and do all that I have assigned and entrusted to you. Refrain from expressing, I'm fatigued, or I can no longer endure this, your competition persists. You possess endurance for both the race and the voyage. The final anointing is upon you. This is the time and moment when you will conclude successfully, receiving the accolades of a contest valiantly contested, and the symbols of triumph bestowed upon your brow. You will comprehend and encounter the complete and ultimate potential within, for the final effort towards triumph and breakthrough. 
Perceive and recognize my goodness and the benevolent actions I undertake on your behalf. Obtain the divine nourishment, including the bread provided to Elijah by the angel. You will surpass the adversary. He will be unable to maintain pace. You will surpass the adversary. His resources are constrained and are currently being depleted. Your resources are boundless, as they reside within me and my role in your life. I am now enabling you to experience the essence of my spirit that propels you into the present moment of my provision and my guiding hand. A struggle has occurred in your life, as the adversary has attempted to deprive you of your blessing and undermine your capacity to retain it. I will reinforce the aspects of your life that require strengthening. I will reinforce those elements that have deteriorated to the brink of failure. I am reinforcing the aspects of your life where you experience significant stress. This is a transmission by my hand. I am the one providing salvation and enacting divine justice on your behalf at the heavenly judgment seat. God instructs you now to revisit and contend with the declarations I have made regarding your existence. Throughout your life, there have been commitments, pledges, and assurances that remain open, viable, and accessible. The words spoken over your life were not mere imaginations or illusions, but rather a precursor to conflict. I have not summoned you to be one of those who restrain themselves. You have never been granted permission to conceal yourself among the belongings while others engage in a fight ahead of you. I have summoned, consecrated, and appointed you as a warrior, equipped with my armor, to advance and seize my promise and mandate for your life. The Father asserts that you are qualified. Your qualifications stem from my intrinsic qualities within you, rather than any external attributes. Your qualifying lies in the anointing, for I have bestowed an anointing upon you. Embrace that anointing now and advance in your designated purpose. Open your mouth widely, and I shall fill it. The warehouses of heaven cannot be depleted, so proclaim confidently, widely, and with high anticipation, for I am present among you to fulfill my purpose and execute my word. I am contacting you to assist me in this domain. To serve as an intercessor and to pray for my promise to you, as well as my promise through you to others. I will ensure that the words conceived in intercession will not be in vain. I have summoned you to advance independently, without awaiting the support or companionship of others. I will dispatch the angelic reapers ahead of you, serve as your rear guard, and send companions who will pray and stand alongside you. The Father asserts that you will endure and remain resilient until the challenge you confront transforms into a testimony that no one can refute or deny. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. God proclaims today, eat in the new food of my truth. Timeless truths of my word, established for millennia will perpetually fortify and rejuvenate your spirit. The present truth revelation, which is pertinent, novel, and previously unrecognized by earlier generations, is currently being disclosed to those receptive and prepared to listen. I am presenting new teachings, so dedicate additional time to the word that reveals the fresh manna to you in pertinent ways. Through my word and the manifestation of my spirit, 
a fresh bestowal of power is granted, together with the comprehension of how my power is activated in your present circumstances. You have posed the inquiries, and now the responses are readily accessible to those eager to explore my ancient word with renewed perspective and fervor. Initial exposure to novel, revelatory information typically elicits a negative response. Therefore, equip yourself for this and choose to reject the opinions of others and the judgments of an unenlightened society. Truth is discovered in various contexts. The veracity of my teaching will manifest in realms untouched by religious ideologies, as they lack genuine desire. Listen to my voice and concur with the affirmation I am presenting to you in the scripture. Align with my word rather than the interpretations of others regarding my word. They are perpetually acquiring knowledge, yet fail to attain understanding that transforms their hearts. Prepare for a transformation of the heart. Prepare for profound internal change, and you will observe external changes as well, proclaims the Father. God asserts that the incarnation of the Word did not conclude with Jesus, the Christ of God. The Word continues to incarnate as I dwell with you, residing within your corporeal form and redeemed humanity. You are my abode, my residence, and I have placed my throne within the hearts of humanity, as living sanctuaries of my majesty. For they shall witness my splendor while you reside among them. The same splendor that adorned the only begotten of the Father, replete with grace and truth. They will witness my majesty, grace, and benevolence emanating from my dwelling place. I will manifest my splendor from within, and you will recognize my glory as a condition of existence, rather than a mere occurrence. In the plenitude of my grace, you will comprehend the entirety of the goodness of the Word become flesh. The Word incarnates as humanity. The Divine assumes human form. The Word manifests your destiny identity within the domains of glory, grace upon grace, spiritual blessings upon spiritual blessings, favor upon favor, and gifts upon gifts. The Word must amplify and devour your flesh, glorifying itself so that when others gaze upon you, they will witness my glory and recognize one who is begotten of the Father, replete with grace and truth. God advises today to refrain from justifying the diminishment of your blessings. Do not permit circumstances or misguided reasoning to dissuade you from what I am encouraging you to embrace. Execute the task to which I have summoned you. Heed my voice, which I vowed would guide you, stating, This is the path, traverse it, individuals in your vicinity including adversaries, may advise you to disregard my explicit guidance. Do not compromise my word or my directives to you. By diluting the instructions I have provided, you also dilute the commitment I have made. Be a paternal appeaser. Prioritize obedience above all else. If others fail to comprehend, continue to love them and progress onward. This is a period of anticipation. I am manifesting my promises in your life. Embrace the anticipation of my actions today in your life. Embrace the anticipation within yourself and convey that anticipation to others. Act as somebody who instills hope in the hearts of others. Avoid being ensnared by the pessimistic forecasts of individuals who place their faith elsewhere than in my words and actions on earth. Proclaim both within and externally that the sky is not collapsing, the kingdom is approaching. 
Allow this to serve as your proclamation, and it will precisely manifest in your existence. Your life will ascend precisely to the extent of your expectations and declarations. Ensure your words are a source of vitality rather than demise. Embrace, believe in, and articulate the blessing, and it will envelop your life and dictate subsequent events. God advises us to have a loose grip on all possessions today. Like the ancient Israelites, consume your meal with your staff in hand and your sandals on your feet. I have rendered you a traveler. Just as Abraham was a wanderer in pursuit of a city, I have made you a wanderer, and I have put you on a journey for that which is constructed by God alone. I have summoned you to be a pioneer of faith. The faith I have imparted to you will be cultivated, enabling you to instill it in the lives of others. Your duties will vary among individuals and locations, often in quick succession. Always consult me before establishing your foundation or security in any condition or event. The Father instructs us to exhibit courage in unfamiliar circumstances to proclaim my message. I encourage you to articulate my words regardless of whether others perceive them as aligning with their views. I did not contact you for your opinion, I reached out to convey my message. Prepare to dismantle the representations of Baal and the altars of deceptive dependency in which many have placed their trust. This will occur as you publicly and honestly make resolute and bold commitments to water walking, which only I can facilitate. You will venture into the unattainable and witness what I shall manifest. You will observe this and feel pleased, while others will witness it and be amazed. This is my plan and my intention for you, beloved. Take heart and understand that we shall navigate this journey together, witnessing the fulfillment of all that I have pledged to you. Before the video continues, I request you to comment Amen and if you are able to help financially so you can do super thanks. God asserts today that you are not inconsequential. At times, one may perceive themselves as diminutive and inconsequential, but, in reality, one is not inconsequential. I have endowed you with a voice to embody my power and magnificence within you. When adversaries attempt to silence you, I am present to safeguard, defend, and uphold your right to express yourself and be acknowledged. In the forthcoming days, I will amplify your voice further. I will ensure your voice is amplified and sustained. I present you with this gift in recognition of your ability to articulate the truth. I am presenting this chance, along with numerous others, to you because you possess the ability to articulate love and convey encouragement. While some advocate for death and damnation, the Father proclaims, I have appointed you as a voice of encouragement. I desire you to be an encourager and a source of delight, disseminating happiness through the words that will emanate from your mouth. I desire for you to serve as an ambassador of joy, imparting positivity to others who are damaged and lost. As you comply with my directives, states the Father, lives will be transformed due to your influence. Do not perceive your actions as insignificant, for I have elevated your status within my realm. Compliance with my directives will yield rewards. By adhering to my directives, you will receive jewels, objects created through heat and pressure, as a reward. A crown of victory and a purple robe are available for you to bear. A new mantle for you to bear. I bestow upon you a walk of majesty and power, certain that you will comply, 
articulate and serve as my representative. You have occasionally stated, God, I do not object to being in the background. Due to your humble disposition, I will elevate you, allowing others to witness the love that resides inside you. You will disseminate affection. My affection will permeate you, overflow, and affect all individuals in your vicinity, including those who are challenging to love and express love towards. Therefore, venture forth and express my love with joy, for this is the designated path for you to traverse in this season, declares the Father. God proclaims that this is a liberating period for you. Numerous factors have impeded your progress and instilled intimidation, my dear. However, now is a moment when I am intervening, affecting internal transformation that will foster significant freedom and boldness inside you. You have experienced my spirit's influence within you, yet at times, some have attempted to suppress your enthusiasm and undermine you. They asserted that they have superior knowledge to you and understood what was optimal. I assure you, dear one, I possess the knowledge of what is optimal, and you indeed perceive my voice. The insight you possess originates from me, thus, do not question yourself any further. Do not question your abilities upon hearing me. Do not question the wisdom I have imparted to you. The Father instructs you, asserting that this is the designated day and hour for you to follow the path he prescribes. When those around you insist on choosing a particular path, prioritize pleasing your Father and proceed in the road I have indicated, regardless of others' comprehension. I have bestowed in you the inherent ability to embrace my greatness and fulfill the ministerial calling designated for you. You had aspired to go to several places and evangelize to the populace. God indicates that I am initiating your expansion into a broader field of influence, which will progressively grow. You will reach individuals that you are unaware of reaching. My words will resonate and hold authority as they disseminate throughout many communities. I will provide conclusive evidence of the mantle I have conferred upon you today, and your ordained role of service and effective ministry will be validated and solidified. Today, God proclaims that my essence is beckoning to your essence. You have requested a more profound relationship which is attainable when you engage in your moments of being alone with me. Command your eyes to be awakened and your ears to perceive the voice that resonates inside your heart and spirit. The Father declares that I shall be discovered and revealed within your inner being. Decide to allocate the essential solitude with me. Silence awaits me. My voice resides within you and is discerned in the silence amid your thoughts. There will be instances when you will require and crave solitude like some individuals crave essential sustenance. In that location, I will meet you, and you will dine with me, I will engage in communion with you, and transformation will occur. You are entering a realm of intercession. Praying on behalf of others, as well as for the concealed essence of the heart that I have shaped you to embody. Intercede for the individual you are destined to become, to manifest fully. As you contemplate your identity as I define it, I will enable the latent individual within you to emerge and become evident. Subsequently, I will guide you towards enhanced maturity and a clear transition to a new level of maturity inside my kingdom. On this day, dedicate time and make a deliberate effort to retreat to a tranquil location. Open your heart and choose to listen attentively, 
you will discover my voice and my spirit as you perceive the onset of my transformative influence, guiding you into a new realm of experience inside my kingdom. God proclaims today that you are maturing into my kingdom. My intention in providing you with esteemed leadership is for you to develop into the complete embodiment of Christ's stature. You are not a spiritual diminutive. You are not obligated to spend your life in the shadow of another's narrative. Avoid becoming like people who lack wisdom by comparing themselves to one another. Your potential is derived from my essence within you, which is boundless. Humanity would impose restrictions upon you. You would impose limitations on yourself. That is not my objective. Your limitations are not dictated by education. Your limitations are not confined by geographic location. You are not constrained by gender, race, or any other factor, as the Greater One is inside you, enabling you to transcend all obstacles. Focus on achieving greater maturity. Strive for personal development before aging occurs. Allow my wisdom and my truth to direct your actions, leading you to fulfill all that I have promised you. The Father proclaims, this is a new day. This day presents new obligations and new blessings. Embrace the antecedent and you will perceive the consequent. Part of maturation involves relinquishing juvenile possessions. Ceasing to be ensnared by the trappings of your immaturity. Release those matters. Disregard those connections and interactions that do not align with your intended path or your appointed identity. This is the challenging aspect, nevertheless, as you connect with my essence and get your security from me. You will be abundantly blessed and witness the fruits of your labor, finding fulfillment.